Chef's here for a little dumplings. Good to see you. You've been busy yeah. in a good way. <laughs> for sure. Do you have a favorite season? Uh, probably fall. Yeah. Probably fall. All right. Well, we're smack dab in the middle of it. Now, you throw out the word ramen and people jump to dormitory conclusions, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that is fine, I guess, if your sodium levels are okay, but that is far and away nowhere near what you execute. Yeah, yeah. So the stuff I make uh, takes probably two to three days to oh. get, get ready. Put well, together. it's only an hour. So, <laughs> so what, what takes so long in the process? Uh, really, like, um, I mean, the broth can be anywhere from a one to two day process okay. itself. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, some a lot of the, the toppings and condiments that go on it have to they kind of age or marinate. Okay. So that that's really what takes so long. That that the full ingredient incorporation and yes. with the broth and things like that. All right, what do we have here? What do we need to do to get started? Uh, so I'm gonna be doing a, a bowl for my pop up in the next segment. Mm -hmm. um, am I doing that right now? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's yeah, go. Go, right. go for it. Hopefully we got three minutes. No, so. you're fine. You're All fine. All right. So this will be a show you curry ramen. A what? Which, show you curry ramen. Show you yes. curry ramen. All right. Yeah, so uh, this style is stir fried in a wok. So it gives you a lot more flavor mm -hmm. uh, than just heating up your toppings sure. and all that good stuff. So, right here, got some garlic oil, bean sprouts, uh, cabbage, some ground pork, and some uh, garlic oil. And then. We're gonna take our shoyu curry paste mm -hmm. and caramelize that. So that's gonna add even more flavor. What, what else is in the, in the, the paste besides the curry? Uh, let's see. So a couple different kinds of soy sauce: garlic, ginger, scallion. Okay. It's packing a wallop. Yeah, absolutely. All right. So we're gonna let that simmer for a little bit. Get the noodles. What texture do you want on the noodle? Al dente, al dente, really. Okay. Um, so uh, I want to cook them a little bit under um, before I put them in the soup because they're just going to continue, right? Hot, hot, hot. Yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. It'll gotcha. dilute. Yeah. So, so the pop-ups have been going well. Pop-ups have been going great. So how different is it for you, stamina-wise, for a pop-up versus, say, uh, a regular kitchen shift at Little Dumpling? Is it the difference between like the Indy 500 and a drag race? Like it's. Like <laughs> Uh, it's Foot funny to the you floor the that. whole way. Um, I'd say the trickiest thing with doing the ramen specials at Little Dumplings is um, where we have a normal menu, um, you know, sandwiches, stuff right. like that. Um, with something like like soup, it's very hard to. Uh, I have to get this to the customer pretty much right as it comes together. Sure. So uh, there's a, a big challenge with timing it with like you know a burger or fries, right? Or okay. Anything like that. Yeah. So the pop-up, uh, I get to kind of focus on that. So that, that makes it a little easier on me, but it was also very high volume. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's, I can't uh, get my you know. son's two grilled cheeses at the same time. I can't expedite in, uh, for, for, for uh, low-grade palates, but I can't imagine what it, what it takes to do that. Right, sort of right. So really now, um, I've got about 45 more seconds on my noodles here. Okay. Uh, so at about 30 seconds, I'll go ahead and pour the soup into the bowl mm -hmm. so it's not way too hot. And, and then right. we'll timing is everything. Start plating up. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> so, what have been some of the challenges you, you've been able to overcome? I'm, I'm sure. I mean, Signature Test Kitchen has, has been incredible. I'm just watching it in my uh, social media feed and, and influencing friends who aren't comfortable necessarily, you know, for the full-blown dining experience to at least yeah, stop so. in, and pop in, and, and get something authentic and and fresh and hot and delicious. Yeah. So last time I was here. Um, uh, we were actually, Jolene and I were talking about getting these pop-ups going, and I think within the next day or two, all the bars and restaurants shut down. So, <laughs> so it's been um, a nothing, building process yeah, to get like to that point. like expediting a plan. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, we had the Sunday ramen specials, which we started then, mm -hmm. which were going very, very well, um, which... Uh, led us to this point, thankfully. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we are just about done here. So what are we loading up here? So we got some, this is called chashu. It's just a roasted uh, pork shoulder oh. marinated in soy, garlic, ginger, okay. all that good Asian stuff. What's happening with that egg? So that is a, that's called an ajitama. Uh, it's a soft boiled marinated egg. 
so that's that's one of the things that has to set up for about three days. So oh, okay. It's like a seventy-two hour marinate on that. Um, I'm using this one for my pop-up tomorrow, so it's actually not quite where I want it to be, okay. but it's, it's we appreciate it's you. Uh, you. It will be tomorrow, right? <laughs> yes. So exactly what's going to happen tomorrow? Uh, so tomorrow from five to nine at the signature table, I have um, my pop-up event where I'll be selling two ramens and. Uh, two steam buns. Got a couple drinks this time. Nice. Uh, last week we had almost 100 customers in about a three-hour period. Uh, I did not expect that, so that was a sellout. Maybe it's maybe it's best. Uh, you didn't expect yeah. that. <laughs> didn't have a chance to think about it coming. So what we're having is little dumplings, ramen noodle pop-up at the Fisher's <sighs> Test Kitchen signature table within. Did I get that right, Jolene? <laughs> I was off for a week. I didn't even know it was Wednesday 10 minutes ago. Well, we have the information right. Fisherstestkitchen.com. We'll put the link on IndieStyle.tv. One of these days. Um, then maybe I'll finally get my tattoo. And I'll just, that way, I'll have it. Have it a crib sheet every single time. All you need to know is oh, that link. That'll goodness. get you there. Delicious, Chef. Good to see you. He's not going anywhere, though, Amber. No, he's not. I'm going to chat with him coming up in just a little bit. I wish we could have seen Jolene's face on camera, right? Good stuff.